What's going on YouTube? It's your man Uncommon Sense here and we're back again for another edition of Uncommon Sense. Today's video is going to focus on drugstore pickups that I found to be relatively price conscious. I learned about these fragrances through a fragrance group I'm part of on Facebook and people were saying that they had got fragrances for clearance for less than 40 bucks. So I hopped on it because I mean, hey, I could find some fragrances in my neighborhood area and I felt like pickup. I wouldn't have to deal with shipping because people have been stealing packages and all that business lately. So anyway, if this is your first time to Uncommon Sense, thanks for stopping by. If you're into fragrance, fashion, style, lifestyle, travel, and mental health and wellness, this is your place. For my return to viewers, welcome up fam. And we're going to get into that thing right after this. All right, welcome back Uncommon Sense fam. We're just gonna talk about those fragrances that I was able to find at my local drugstore, Walgreens to be exact, for under 70 bucks. I used the coupon code of GORGE20, was able to find these fragrances in stock. I had to drive a little bit to get them. If you watched my last video, you can see the two that I got, but we're gonna talk about them a bit more in depth, okay? First up, Rouse Club, or that parfum. This fragrance actually was on clearance. Ended up being $35 and I got 20% off on top of that. So that was, to me, one of the best buys I was able to score within this mini haul of sorts. This is a 3.4 fluid ounce, 100 mil. I've smelled it before and at the current retail price that it was, I didn't feel like it was worth it, but for under 40 bucks, this size, I felt it was a no-brainer. So let's go ahead and just get into it. First impressions, what it smells like what we like, what we don't like. Ooh, this is the first Ralph Lauren fragrance I have in my current collection. I need that, right? Just be well-rounded. Nice flacon, smoky see-through glass, attached top, kind of like a flask. I like these style bottles, can't lose it. It clicks on. Nice atomizer, good amount of juice. To me, it's kind of an aromatic. This I would classify as very easy to wear. It's fresh, it's clean, it's sexy, it's masculine. I don't think you'll get anyone that doesn't like this. Is it special? Probably not, especially if you have a large collection. But this, I can see this being an easy reach. I can also see this making it into my list of fragrances you wear on the interview. It's a classic scent. Has a little bit of sweetness, but it does have that cologne, that fresh, clean citrus fragrance. Not the same, but similar. So element of sweetness in there. This one I can tell is not gonna be a loud projector. It sits a little closer to the skin. It being an eau de profonde makes sense. In my collection as it stands, did I need it? No. Did I want it? Of course I did. And that's why I got it. For less than 40 bucks, I can see me losing myself down in it. It's gonna be one of those fragrances that will probably last about four or five hours. I'm getting a lot more in tune with my quiet quitters. <laughs> I'm not looking for fragrances all the time that go in and do above and beyond. Some fragrances are made to just, you know, get in there, do the job, get out. No problem with that. Every fragrance in my collection is not a heavy hitter. They don't need to be, quite frankly, because some of them I get tired of and want them to wear off so I can do something else. This is one of those fragrances. It's gonna last the duration of your event, Boom, you're free to do something else. And I actually like that. This under $40 for 3.4 ounce is very much worth the money. Ralph's Club by Ralph Lauren. Next up, this is one that has had a lot of talk in the community, especially amongst women in the community. This is Ariana Grande's Cloud. I got it for 30 bucks. It is a one ounce though. It's not necessarily gonna break the bank. I don't have anything specifically like this in my collection, aside from Instant Crush. Instant Crush is along that saffron sweetness vibe, but it's not the same as BR540 by Mason Francis Kirchham. This one is said to be a dupe of that. Let's check it out, let's get into it. I felt like the DNA of BR540 is unisex, even though I'm sure this one is not marketed toward men at all. It's an order parfum as well. You know, there's been a lot of talk about it in the community and might as well get in and, you know, just give my thoughts on it. Oh, okay. The packaging is cute. I don't know what's happening. It sits. Oh, okay. It sits in there like that. I don't know if it's supposed to rock back and forth, but it's a little cloud. The bottle itself is there. Let's see what that's doing. Put that on the other side. Hmm. Nice atomizer. Hmm. It smells good. It's a gourmand. Now, I won't lie to you. <clears throat> a 
Among the First spread does have that kind of choke you out thing. And there's something medicinal about it close to the skin. In the air, though, it smells amazing. I do get the likeness to the BR540, the candy floss vibe. But this one is a little different to me. I smell MFK's BR540, the EDT. It's nice. It's a good fragrance. It is mass appealing, though. A lot of people like it. You're going to be hard-pressed to get a fragrance like that to be unique. Everybody likes it. If everybody doesn't like it, there's a different type of fragrance that everybody's kind of going toward that resembles that, gives that type of feeling. The one that I like the most is the Dua Hybrid of BR540 and Pegasus. It's in this closet behind me, but I don't feel like getting up and getting it. I wore it a couple days ago. That combination, chef's kiss. It's amazing. I also have had Super Crush by Mir. Similar. It smells nice. It smells good. Nobody's ever going to be like, ooh, that stinks. It doesn't stink at all. It's just been done like the Creed Aventus. I personally don't need any more Creed Aventus clones. I'm good. <laughs> I have a few fragrances that are in the same style because I like blue style fragrances. And Creed Aventus is not a blue style fragrance, but it has that fruity, fresh, clean thing with some woods. For all intents and purposes, it's a Swiss Army Knife type of fragrance. Now, back to Ariana Grande's Cloud. Most men are probably not going to wear this at all, just for the simple fact of the packaging. I can see myself reaching for this every now and again when I want to give off something gourmand, playful, fresh, sexy, and fruity. This smells, to me, it smells good. It smells something that probably leans a bit more feminine, more women are probably going to rock with this a lot more. 30 bucks for a one meal from Walgreens, I was like, hey, why not? So in total, for both of those fragrances, I paid 65 bucks. Local, I was able to go pick them up, bring them home, didn't have to wait for shipping and handling, and I saved 20%. So that in and of itself, when you are hearing about sales and stuff like that, I say if you can, jump on it. Because I see everybody scoring a deal at their drugstores. This is the first time I was able to go online and see somewhat of the same, right? That's the fragrances that I got from the drugstore. That's my quick review on them. Those are my views of these two fragrances. Either of these, do you like them? Do you have them? Do you own them? What's your experience? Leave a comment in the below. We're gonna talk about that fragrance that I told you I actually ran low on that I ended up rebottling, okay? Dior Sauvage, one of the blues everybody loves to hate, right? However, I have to be honest with myself, I really like this fragrance. As you can see, this is probably one of my most worn fragrances. When I tell you that dent is present, is like I have maybe one or two more wears and this is out for me. So I went back and forth and thinking of getting a new fragrance, EDP, the Parfum, etc. A lot of them have vanilla in the base. I don't necessarily want an additional gourmand to my fragrance collection. I have way too many in my opinion. So what I ended up doing was going to Dior directly because my credit card issuer gave me miles, 20 miles to be exact, for each dollar that I spent. I ended up spending about 120 bucks. Alexa, what's 20 times 120? 20 times 120 is 2,400. So I got 2,400 miles for making a purchase on something I was going to make anyway. Not too bad. I will tell you this, if you've ever bought anything direct from Dior, it is an experience. If you've ever bought anything from Dior, it is indeed an experience. You wanna know what I'm talking about? That's what I'm talking about. The receipt, return envelope, that in of itself. Even just a little shredded paper, it says Dior, right? samples and the fragrance itself this is a 3.4 ounce even amidst the talk of reformulations i kind of don't care for the simple fact if it smells anything remote to the original other toilet if it just doesn't last that long i have enough juice to double up additionally this one is refillable i think the smallest one and this size is refillable i don't know why the two ounce was not refillable whatever but i rebottled the fragrance i said i wouldn't rebottle it is what it is. This is one of my most worn blues and one of my most worn fragrances across my collection as a whole. When you found something that worked, you just got to kind of stick with it. I have several Dior's. This is my favorite out of all of them, though. Even the Elixir, this one still is my favorite out of all of them. So even if it's been reformulated, hey, we just spray it up 
a little bit more and tend to enjoy it. This fragrance gets a lot of hate, kind of like BR540. Don't know why, they smell good. It probably has just been done. But I've not smelled anything that smells exactly like this, won't lie. And I'm a fan of some clone houses. But can't duplicate some of the greats. And if you can't duplicate a great, then you truly remain to be a great, right? Right. All right, it's been your man on Common Sense. I love you from the bottom of my heart to the top of the sides. I'm going to lift it up, put a little love underneath, and then put it back down and put a little love on top. I'm out. Till next time. Bye.